My name is Jim and uh, I play the drums for the Barbarians. I started playing drums since I was around two, I think. My dad had an old drum kit and I was always behind it since I was a small boy. And through uh, high school, started playing a lot of, lot of drums with a lot of different people and bands and that really got me going to want to be a drumming professional. And on top of that, he's got perfect pain when he walks Uh, my name is Jeru and I'm the lead singer for the Rebellion Squad. Everybody calls me Harry Harry. I've been singing, I think, since I was seven, something like that. My mother just kind of pushed me towards an old boys choir and that was fun, I guess. So I kind of stuck with it and for some reason I ended up on a, a theater school, I know, for, for kids. And I stuck around there until I was 18. So I've been always, I've, I've always been active in the theater. My name is Tom and I play the bass in the Barbarians. I play the bass now for, I don't know, nine years, eight years, ten years. A little bit foggy. I don't know, since a few months I have singing lessons so I can tell your room what to do. I'll make all the other boys look like a My name is Thijs, I'm a guitar player in the Barbarians, and also one of the main songwriters. Definitely the main instrument is the guitar, but I also do a lot of uh, sometimes backing vocals, uh, bass, guitar, keys, a little bit, a bit of the drums, it's mostly just the guitar. If you met me, so would you hang out. Uh, my name is Philip Degenes. And uh, for this project, I'm uh, the head engineer, recording engineer, and mixing engineer. I'm responsible for the the vision of the band and the, the producer to come to truth. Yeah, I'm the technical leader, you can say. Well, my name is uh, uh, Giovanni Oldeberg. Well, I'm, a, I'm an assistant engineer on this project. My responsibility here is to make sure the band is, uh, is happy and everything is working. Uh, the most important thing when preparing for recordings, I think, is if we are going to record the drums today, make sure the mics, everything is set up, the drums are already tested and everything inputs. Sure. Let's say that a drummer uh, is playing and uh, there's a mic in the way that creates a very nice sound. Then it's more important that the drummer can hit uh, uh, comfortably and not thinking about the technical parts. And then you also got uh, the part of keeping them uh, as, as, uh, as, as calm and as, as, as a good vibe as possible for the whole thing. Making coffee, for instance, when they come in and their, their cup of coffee is just warm and nice and, and just small details make makes a difference. Island Studio is a great studio, it's small, it's cozy. I was expecting like this big, huge air conditioned like space with 20 engineers walking around being like, oh great, there's another tiny band coming along recording some stupid music. But instead, there's a couple of engineers walking around being like, oh my god, this is amazing! What I really like about the studio is that it's not so super big and it's very cozy. Uh, so it's easy for the artists and bands that come here to get a good vibe. Most fun thing about the uh, studio though is, is you can actually put some time in creating a sound and actually hear your great sound and not just a shitty amp of some local pub and you get the chance to really make the great sound we all want.
we started out as a joke for uh, the Glazen Huis. I got a call on a Saturday uh, from one of our other guitar players who said, yeah, can you do this gig on Tuesday with me and Jeroen, the, the vocalist? Said, yeah, sure, let's, let's do that. And we had a lot of fun doing that. It was a small acoustic kind of thing. And halfway during the show, uh, a guy walks up to us and he says, what are you guys doing next week? Like, yeah, we don't know, you can tell us. And we ended up literally uh, being asked to play on the main stage next to the Glazen Huis, uh, being on Dutch television. And we, we weren't just a week old. Thijs got brought in on a drunk night with Jeroen. One day I came uh, around in some bar and I came uh, to find a drunk Jeroen and he asked me, oh, come jam with us. And I was drunk also, so I said, oh, okay. all right, I'm gonna do that. So yeah, I invited this guitar player over and I don't know, I was drunk and now he's here <laughs> as well. I originally brought him in as the bass player of the band because we needed a bass player. But then he picked up a guitar and we were like, yeah, we're not going to waste his time as I'm playing bass because that would be stupid. From that moment, I'm um, part of this band. The bass player, Tom, is a very good friend of mine for, I think, almost 10 years now. And I play with him in a cover band, but nothing really professional. And after that, I said, screw it, let's go heavy. And I played in grindcore bands and, well, that turned out to be fun for a little while, but after that it was going to be like, oh, now I want to challenge myself with actual music. We needed a bass player for the Barbier, so I said, yeah, let's bring him over because I know I can trust the guy as far as playing goes. So, I joined the Barbier. Yeah. For this project it was more important to get a nice uh, sweet sound than maybe for a pop uh, album or metal album where you want a really hard hitting, clean uh, sound. It was more about the nice saturated rounded off classic rock sound. Hi, I'm Lewis and uh, I'm the keyboard player for this project. I'm not an official member of the band, but um, well, we still maintain our contacts. When I was like eight years old, yeah, eight years, I uh, took my first piano keyboard lessons. I think I was amazed by all the sounds that you get out of the keyboard. It's very versatile. Uh, you know, you can like solo, and then it's like you no know, solo instrument, but it's also very quiet, more in the background adding layers and being just functional without being very... Uh, it's not like a guitar player. <laughs> <laughs> I did have some piano lessons when I was seven or eight, I think. And it, did, <laughs> it wasn't really my thing, man. I was just trying to fiddle around with my hands and I don't know, it just didn't work for me. I didn't get control of it, I got aggravated and just wanted to... Yeah, beat things, I guess. <laughs> and, uh, you're being an incredible singer, uh, like this, a big voice. It's for me more about emotion and more about the things that you are trying to convey through your lyrics and through your melodies, and less about the way you use your voice. That's why I chose to go for singing, I guess. Maybe it's because I'm lazy and it's just less work, but I don't know. It's my thing. Oh, yeah. My most inspirational bands are the Beatles and Queen by far. Because I, I feel that every single band member has earned their own place in the heart of the public. And they all contributed to the songwriting of the band, the performance of the band, the image of the band. And that's the kind of band that I want to be in. We try to do it with a lot of fun, a lot of fun. And we want to make people happy, we want to make people dance, we want to make people jump. Have some fun around it. Be serious about it. Have a joke with you. And bring it up with you.
I hear Stones, I hear uh, Pink Floyd, so it's, uh, it's really a uh, melting pot. I think it was important for us to have uh, a kind of uh, a vintage uh, feeling. Um, we can say a vi vintage feeling, but in a modern setting. I must say I kinda like it, do you like it too? Now that I know where okay, so the NBA, Toronto Raptors versus Los Angeles Clippers. This is a rivalry that has been going on for about a year and a half now. So every time they have to play each other, yeah, that's that's kind of a big happening in our, in our home. Um, so yeah, and this year in the playoffs, uh, because the Clippers got one round further than the Raptors, yeah, I kind of made fun of him. But then again, the Clippers lost to the Raptors two times this year, so yeah, he makes fun of me as well. So yeah, that that is uh, that is a thing, but that's fun. Here we come. Well, my name's Ashley Collins, <laughs> um, and I um, well actually got a phone call from for that saying that um, the band was looking for a female vocalist to put like a kind of like a gospel twist to it. Um, so I was like, um, yeah, sure, why not? And then I asked like, what kind of music do they make? And he's like, yeah, they're kind of like a rock, kind of funk. And I was like, rock, I've never done rock before, so. <laughs> oh, oh, baby, let's have some fun, cause ready or not. 